Hi, today we're going to review the final steps in our three-part series on setting up multi-currency management in Dynamics GP. So to do this, we're going to go to the financial window and we're going to set up the specific account numbers that are used during the revaluation process and we're going to assign currencies to account numbers and then we're ready for use. So under the setup window, I'm going to choose currency accounts. And here you're going to want to select each current foreign currency that you use. You will not need to set this up for your functional currency because you'll never be revaluing transactions entered in your functional currency. So I pull up Canadian dollars and you'll see that I can assign account numbers to them. And this is where I can decide whether or not when I revalue any discre dollar discrepancies should go into realized gains, losses, or unrealized gains or losses. It's also where I can put in offset numbers or offset amounts if I am revaluing uh, transactions that are entered through financial sales or purchasing series, including rounding differences. So you need to set those up if you're going to revalue. So let's close that out. And then under cards, we'll go to account currency. And this is where we can set up which account numbers use which currency. Now this process is doing it one at a time. In a few minutes, I'll show you how you can do mass modifications. Uh, now, I've entered in this new account number, and this is a new account number that I've added, so right now I can't use it for anything but the functional currency. So I could either just go through and pick and choose specific account numbers or, I, or currencies, or I could select all, and then they're automatically set. You'll also notice that I have a revaluation button, so I can determine whether or not this account should be used in the revaluation process. Let's click on Save and close that out. Now, if I have a lot of account numbers and I don't necessarily want to do that one at a time, under cards I can choose currency account update. And here I can go through and select entire ranges of accounts. So this is every possible account combination. And I could choose to go ahead and assign it to all currencies this way by marking them all. I also have the ability to do revaluation options. So this might be where you want to set balance sheet accounts to revalue. So I'll click on update, the process is quickly, and I'll close that out. Now essentially we're ready for use. So let's key in an invoice before we look at revaluation. I'm going to go to the purchasing series and enter in an invoice. And the first thing I'll do is assign it to a batch. And I'm going to key it in for Bergeron Communication because they are a Canadian vendor of mine. And you'll notice the currency is automatically set up and the invoice number is 5001. Let's go down, we'll put in a purchase amount for 2,000 Canadian dollars. So that's the invoice that I received. If I go to the distribution window, you can see I have the originating amount as 2,000 Canadian dollars, but it's going ahead and translating it to US dollars by putting in 2,038.52 cents of US dollars. And I'll click OK to close that out. This is where it gets exchange rate from. I can see my exchange rate entry information that I could override if I have that feature set up. And I'll click OK to close that out. So that's how the exchange tables work. Let's save that. Let's go back to financial for a minute. Let's talk about revaluation. If your statements are FASB 52 compliant, then you need to revalue all your balance sheet accounts to the date that the balance sheet is printed for. So if you print your financial statements on the last day of every month, which is the norm, then you need to revalue for the end of the month. And you could preset revaluation options. So I'm going to go ahead and just save one called balance sheet. And I can decide what my posting date should be. Maybe I want it to be the last day of the month. Uh, I can choose my current year or um, my current period, which is fine. And I could choose a reversing date if I want to uh, want to reverse it out. If I don't want to reverse it out, I can just simply click on that. And here, I would choose which currencies I want to revalue at the time. And it'll revalue all account numbers that are set to revalue. Unless I click on restrictions and I can further narrow down the scope of what I want to revalue. By selecting a currency I, or, or by selecting certain account segments and so forth. Now, also according to FASB 52, any variances that show up need to show up as a currency translation adjustment. So you want to work with your partner and your CPA for setting that up. 
So, multi-currency is ready to use, and if you have any questions about it, just let me know. Hope that helps. Thanks.